Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, where you come for education, analysis, and opportunities in blockchain and crypto. My name is Lucas, and I'm happy to share with you something that I discovered while perusing the web. And this is a public service announcement to protect all of you out there who are interested in playing around in the world of blockchain and crypto, prevent you from being scammed. You've heard a lot of people are being scammed and hacked and you know, um, what, I'm just, whatever we can share with each other to help each other out. And one of the common scams are fake websites where the developers have allowed it to where you can link your MetaMask wallet, but instead of linking your MetaMask wallet to the trusted um, service blockchain dev team uh, community, you're linking your wallet up to, a, you know, hackers to a group of people that malintent. Okay, so um, of course we have videos that walk you through how to participate different cryptocurrency communities, the different um, iterations and what's emerging, the, how dynamic the space is. We look at the economy, the market, and you know the interplay, the dance between the two and how they're related and the creative destruction, the opportunities, and the potential that crypto and blockchain has. So if you like all this stuff, we appreciate the love and support. Hit the subscription button, uh, the notification bell. There's the thumbs up you can do. And a comment if there's something um, you're aware of uh, that we may have missed, gotten wrong, or just a great project out there because we, we err and we can only take in so much. We love sharing what we can, when we can, but this space is growing so fast. So without further ado, I'm actually gonna show you a real example of how these scams operate. And I'm gonna use, um, coincidentally, I we recently did a video on Secret Network because they have so much coming out right now in their NFT community and privacy being an unspoken of the trilemma, you know, the, the, the unspoken tribe, the missing tribe of the trilemma. And the reality is, is that uh, what Secret Network has been building on the IBC for years and, and is important and valuable to the world. And it's beautiful to see how they're showing what can be done and how rich the ecosystem is. And we've gone into it in other videos. So please, if you would like to take a look at that, take a uh, scroll through our videos and we have more coming along the way as they continue to collaborate and make some great achievements with other blockchain and cryptos in the IBC community. Okay, so this little uh, lock that you see right up here, you see my mouse, follow the mouse, okay, here's the mouse up here and you'll see HTTPS is important and you'll see that lock is important. That means the connection is secure now, this is stash.co, right? See that? And you see how this website looks. So if you've seen a picture of it or you, if you have an idea of the website that you're looking to find and you go and you click in stash app NFT and you come down here, well, it's not secret network. Oh, stash, stash.co, unlocking. Oh, that must be it. You'll click on it. A lot of people will click on it. They won't pay attention right here to it's saying not secure not secure it says stash.io not secure oh huh maybe it's just because they're just early in the you don't pay attention to it but you don't want to miss out so come over here install kepler wallet let me see if it, yeah i'm not going to click on this okay. <laughs> i'm not clicking on this and i'm not going to click on this and i'm not going to click on this because right now stash isn't even out yet as, as I make this, it's the 15th, and they announced that they're, they're coming out on the 17th. So first of all, this, this is, you know, you'd have to know that we're only two days. That's why I'm making this video now. I'm making this video now because in two days, by the time this video comes out, um, you know, and you see this, it's probably stash, stash will be out there. So people will be going to two different places and they know that there's a lot of new people. That, so install Kepler wallet. Um, I would just 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 be very careful. Um, I wouldn't Google search or or browser search. Use a search engine, usually unless you really know what you're doing, um, to find your website. Go to places like Twitter, where you can 
follow these communities and you can click directly on the website to make sure you don't miss. And it's good to know what's coming out. Oh, look, Stash is finally coming to Maynet December 17th. So if you're following them, you would know, well, huh, that doesn't make sense. And, and that just be very careful because these are how hacks happen. These are how people um, have their wallets and their funds compromised. So just be very aware, understand that, that trick. And I'm sure there are many others that I'm not aware of and obviously don't ever give out your private keys. So this is, um, and this applies not just to secret network and Kepler wallet, this applies to all the EVM chains and MetaMask. And um, so just, just be very careful. Okay, so while we're here, pardon, bonus. bonus. Sash lets you mint, you'll be able to mint. Oh, I listened to some people. So here's some bonus information about the people working behind Stash. You will be able to, when you're an artist, not only will you be able to have different royalties for different collaborators, it just won't be one or two. You'll be able to make uh, different addresses, receive a percentage that you choose, but all of those will be kept secret. That data is kept secret to the public. People just can't look it up and see, oh, look, it's only going to be revealed to the owner of the NFT. Isn't that something that is neat? What else is something neat that they built is that the owner of the NFT and the original mentor, artist, mentor, the original mentor, the creator with that original address, they can collaborate and decide to make percentage changes later on, which is very, very innovative and dynamic and beautiful and neat, which I don't know that it exists. I'm sure it might exist somewhere else, but I'm not sure where else. So it's that's if you know where else, drop in the comments. But that's a very, very beautiful feature. And it's neat that it's not just the, the original address artist mentor, because then they would be able to ad hoc change it when someone else was the owner. And it's not just the owner uh, because they shouldn't be able to change the royalties of the artist, right? So it's beautiful that it allows this dynamic collaboration. What else is neat about this, and I'm gonna say this right now, is it, it brings the artist and the owner of the NFT together in such a way. It doesn't have to, but it creates a dynamic and a relationship now where the, if the artist would like to make a change, they would reach out to the owner of the NFT, which means that owning an NFT in this network is, is a, is a, has a different, a more utility and just there's another value added. So what do you guys think about that in the secret network stash? Uh, do you like that? Um, I do, I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so what else um, do they say? that you can do I, I don't remember i forgot there, i'm sure there's more and there's more being done but stash is about to launch so check it out i mean this is the the open sea this is the nft marketplace of the secret network which is the privacy blockchain built on the ibc cosmos tenderman i mean it's just it's 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 ready to rocket ship and why why did i have this up oh okay Secret dogs. I'm just going to say, oh, here it is. Hold, hold, see the launch of Stash app. It's close. It's going to benefit a lot of so loving NFT art, the metaverse. There's going to be a lot of neat private metadata that's uh, held in the NFT that slowly gets released over time or has different utility added over time. Um, there are some really neat things going on. Um, Secret dogs is a project that I'm looking that I'm really excited. Hopefully, can find a way to participate and get involved. It would, it would be one of the more uh, niche NFT communities that I would have been able to experience. That being said, the Redacted Rabbits Club, I pulled up that website, give that a gander and you'll be able to give it a gander again on Stash app, the actual marketplace and see who are putting their, their Redacted Rabbits out there and for others to share in the club. Now, when you are members of these NFT clubs, I will show in another video, but you actually can, you have a Discord, download a Discord app, create, and you can link up, you will link up your Discord channel, your name to the NFT in such a way that you will have access to information and to knowledge, information and knowledge, which are pretty much the same thing. Um, you will have access to inf information that other people do not have. So these NFTs, 
they they have become and just like they were built on ethereum the way they operate is to allow access into environments that those without the nft so that's one of the neat features just like they're using nfts can be used for for concert tickets and, and access to metaverse shows right okay so here is um you know that's why to be careful look how look look at the similarities of the websites not secure secure not secure and look the secure one has this globe up here look the not secure one has this stash app logo diamond man this must be the right one let me come install my kepler wallet boom bang i don't even want to know what's going on there maybe they'll they'll change it later to uh install to uh connect you know or something like that but um we'll see this is very very interesting what's going on here I now watch, you know, watch someone reach out and be like, oh, that's our, um, and you know, that's, that's our, that's our site that's in the works. And no, this is, this is, this is, uh, not cool. Already having things listed. This is definitely on the sketch. So, and regardless, this is definitely how scams are done. So just be very, very careful for those sites. All right. Well, that was it. This is just a quick, Oh, I had the secret dogs up. Yep. Talked about them. Redacted secret rocks. Oh, you know what? One more special bonus. So paper, rock, scissors. Well, some people do one, two, three, and then are you a one, two, three go or a one, two, you know, which one is it? So paper, rock, scissors, it's not actually called paper, rock, scissors. It's actually called secret rocks and you want to talk about a fun community on the secret network uh in the secret nft community on the secret network they're they're lively they're active they have a lot of plans for uh player versus play for just a lot of built-in neat features behind each individual secret rock attractor as they call it the mint just started today, December 15th. And full full disclosure in my excitement, I have attractor nine. I've, I've got nine of those attractors in each secret rock attractor. They have public data, four utility traits. Each attractor will have three utilities and an ID number of the secret rock. Oops, pardon. Uh, there will be a secret rock that gets airdropped and attracted. So it's neat about what they're doing. And they did this on purpose. There's a reason why you receive this NFT and you're airdropped your other NFT and other NFT. They did this to make the minting more, to more, make it more smooth, less gas fees to make the transactions. Um, there, there's, I can't explain cause I don't know the technical side of it, but uh, get in the channel and ask them about it. And, but there, but that is the purpose of it. And you realize it's, they can just program, I guess, a simple attractor, with just has an ID number on it. And then the other NFTs that have more complex data can be dropped later at a fraction of the cost instead of people minting something that has all this complex data in it. I'm sure that's, it, it probably goes along something like that. Um, if you're, if, if I, if that sounds about right, let me know. If it sounds about wrong, let me know. Either way, knowledge is power and uh, learn from my mistakes just as much if not more than anything so uh i this is definitely an academy when you come into blockchain and crypto a tuition of errors and the benefits often the value gained often outweigh those errors especially when you're very careful that being said none of this is financial advice none of this is legal advice medical advice it's just educational entertainment information that our research that we like to share with you guys in hopes that it will benefit you. And, and we, we see that these decentralized, vibrant blockchain communities, they thrive on participation and engagement. So when we can look and see what's emerging in this new ecosystem, this new technology, and stay abreast of the changes, because it changes so fast. And some of these projects that we talk about today, 
they might not even exist in a year from now. And some of them will be great and not so great and in the middle still working on some great stuff. So it's definitely a, a process to enjoy and to appreciate and to only put at risk that which you feel comfortable with and and so that you can at least have fun with the ups and downs of these markets. That being said, if you like this information, we appreciate the support, the love, thumbs up, all that good stuff, the subscribe. I think I've covered everything. Okay, is there a whitelist? No, there's no whitelist. Minting is open to everyone. So you have time to acquire some secret, get on the secret network and come over and mint yourself. And this is one of the first, one of the earliest, so early that they've created this whole neat ecosystem before Stash App even comes out. That's pretty early, okay? So I think there is 50 minting. No, anyone can get as many rocks they want. Okay, there we go. No limit. So you can, I mean, you can stock up on those rocks, pet rocks. How many secret rocks will I get for minting an attractor? It's a one for one. There we go. Is there more to attractors other than airdrops well learn more about attractors and the project here you got to check it out do your own research do your own research to be your own bank d-y-o-r-b-y-o-b -O -O that'll be maybe uh something maybe we'll get some merch people talk about merch merchandise we'll get some d-y-o-r-b-y-o-b -O -O okay uh that about covers that there, there are a lot of uh, other ecosystems in the IBC that we love to cover. Juno, smart contracts about to blow up. Desmos, social, um, what, 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 uh, what's it called? Social media. I believe that's what it's called, social media, one of those things. And you've got a lot happening on other chains. You've got Avalanche. You've got Harmony One. You've got Phantom. We've got some sleepers. You've got Layer Twos which Jacob has been really, really um, up and sharing and doing very diligent on like Immutable X Layer 2s for NFTs. And imagine being able to now use your NFTs in a world that has zero gas fees. So it, it allows for the gamification, to, it lowers the barrier uh, to entry and allows people to actually use these instead of just waiting for Ethereum. Can you imagine wanting to play a game on Ethereum and, and it costing like, Fifty hundreds of dollars just to play a card or to make a move or to do something you just can't do it and so that's why there are a need for these other solutions whether it be other layer ones layer zeros layer twos element of p's um well thank you we have just recently hit over a thousand subscribers and we'll see where we're at the next time make another vid till the next time have a beautiful day and namaste